to another episode of Cross Counter Asia. I have a very special interview to do today. We are live at EVO 2K11, and behind me uh, are two beautiful Tekken 2 cabinets, uh, Tekken Tag 2 cabinets, and to the left of me, I have uh, the producer of the game and his uh, translator. So we're going to ask some questions and find out more about the game and the system and the man himself. All right, let's start off. Uh, I noticed that the machines next to us um, don't have a card slot, and a lot of fans uh, overseas, outside of Japan, would like to use the card system. Are there any plans to bring that in? Card slot is not in but in America, Asia is in the そのカードについて、まあカード使いたいと。で、それについて興味あるからどうなってるかっていう。要はここにないけど、これはまあ、これはあの、いや、これはあのデモ用のやつで、え、まあ、たまたまカード、今まだこれ作ってさっきなんで
でっけんで全部一番になっちゃうんですよ。ああ、本当に、はい、これは。なんでかというとヨーロッパで一番です。ヨーロッパってすごい数の国なんですよ。で、ほとんどの国では家庭は一番だし、あのー、格闘ゲームでは。で、アジアにおいてもインカムっていうかそのアーケードの置かれてる設置数とインカムの数よりも圧倒的に一番なので、広くって意味では、えー、鉄拳は広い層には取れてると思います。ただ。一部のやっぱりトーナメントコミュニティが強い国、すごいそういうところではやっぱり、えー、ともちろん負けてはいるんですけど、どちらかというと、鉄拳勝つ、勝たないというよりか、僕としては格闘ゲーム全体を盛り上げなきゃいけないと思ってるので、そういう小さい戦いではなく、どちらかというと、小野さんとこれからワールドワイドに盛り上げていこう、そっちの戦略の方が僕にとっては大きいです。Well, that's, that's kind of a difficult question because、uh, if you look at All the individual countries, that's、yeah. quite hard to see. But、uh, Tekken is quite popular、uh, in various regions of the world, not just because of the console sales numbers, but also you have to look at the arcade base, the machines, and such. So,、uh, sales wise, we have the number one share in the market. But、uh, if you look at just community based action and、uh, tournaments and such like that, of course, Capcom is very strong in some countries、yes. like the US.、Um, but rather than you know, trying to beat Capcom in a certain country or a certain area, Uh, it really is better to focus on、uh, just having the whole fighting game as a genre to just、uh, be the most popular genre. So we don't want to just pick our small battles, but to, to work、so、together、really? with Onosan、mm-hmm. and his guys to make sure that the genre as a whole thrives. Oh, great. That sort of leads into my next question. So、um, I want to know the philosophy behind deciding to do two crossover games. So,、um, The Street Fighter Cross Tekken and also the reverse, the Tekken Cross Street Fighter. And the reason why I'm asking is because,、um, as you know, SNK and Capcom also did their collaborations. But、uh, of course, maybe one of the franchises, the Capcom versus SNK, was more popular than the other. So, inevitably, when you make two titles,、uh, there's going to be comparisons. And does, did Hirata ever fear that there might be that comparison and one would be less popular than the other? And why not? Pull the resources together to do just one title instead of do two. Ah, so no, the next question is, we lead up to it, but lead up to it, but Capcom and my owner さんとやることになって Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Tekken Cross Street Fighter 両方あるでそれ初めてなんで過去に SNK と Capcom が同じような仕組みでやってみたんだけど圧倒的に Capcom が作った。方のゲームが人気があって、SNK が作ったものはそうでもなかった。でどうしてもその同じシリーズで2つともそうこう作っているとファンの間で比較されるけど、原さんではその今回の経験コースというか、シリーズの経験の間では同じ現象が起きるとかそういうなんか心配はないか。なんでもっとみんな一緒に一つの製品とか作らないか。なんでそういう考えでやってるの。一つ目の回答としては、SNKVS カプコンと今、小野さんとうちがやろうとしていることと決定的な違いがあるよね、違いというか、全く違うのは、やっぱり SNK の 2D 格好とカプコンの 2D 格好っていうのは、同じ 2D 格好なのでみんなもうプレイしてる人だと分かると思うけど、3D 格好ゲームっていわゆる、今でちょっと 3D って語弊あるけど。ポリゴン格闘だよね。あの空間使ったポリゴン格闘と一軸で戦う 2D 格闘っていうのはもう全然違うものだっていうのは皆さん多分ご存知の通りでそれで、あのー、全く違うジャンルのもの同士で作るのである意味 SNK バスカップの時と同じ状況にならないと僕は思いますまずここから So、uh, you compared Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken to Tekken Cro- and t- Tekken Cross Street Fighter to、yeah. the Capcom and、uh, SNK tie up.、Yeah. But one thing that's really quite different about those two comparisons is that、uh, SNK's games and Capcom's are both、uh, 2D fighters. Yes. Where Tekken is a 3D、uh, character model、mm. polygon based、mm-hmm. game.、Uh, and that in itself kind of separates that from their situation.、Yeah. So I don't think it's really relevant in our case. That's true. うん、だってまず、まあ、今の例でもっと分かりやすく言うと例えば比較,比較ってみんな言うけどじゃあどっちが売れたっていう比較の話にするなのいやそれで言っちゃうとだ例えば「ストリートファイター」って家庭用で今までトータル3000万本とかかなでうちって4000万本以上でしょでそれでじゃあ鉄拳の方がいいゲームだっていう評価
であるわけはないしそれは何でかというとジャンルも違うしファン層も,ファン層も違うんだよねあのカジュアルからあのミドルからトーナメントでいろんなファン層があるからそういう比較の仕方っていうのはこういう時だけするっていうのは俺はちょっとどうかなと思うんだよね。And it's kind of hard to compare just by saying that、uh, one game is pop- more popular than the other.、Yeah. Uh, the SNK developed one and the Capcom developed one.、Uh, one is more popular than the other because of sales figures. Because,、uh, you know, it- it's kind of hard to say that that equals a better game because there's different fan bases、Absolutely. behind it. So, so、uh, the comparison itself is kind of difficult to make. The, eh, to, is so many, and it's good enough to do. えー、さっっき言ったように、まああのーそう、uh, uh, so, uh, uh, like、例えば、Tekken の Street Fighter シリーズ、例えば、Street Fighter は30万円のカードを買ったことがあるので、それは40万円のカードを買ったことがあるので、それは40万円のカードを買ったことがあるので、They each have their own audiences,、yeah. and you know, it could be skewed to tournament players or more casual players or, or the, the mid. You know? So,、uh, basing popularity just solely on sales figures might、uh, lead to confusion there. Okay, the second question. なぜ1個を 2, 2人で1個作らないかっていうのは、うんあのー、1つはさっき言ったように 3D と 2D 格闘っていうノウハウの違いが。はいはいはいすごく大きいで例えば小野さんは最初ストリートファイター4を作ろうとした時に鉄拳のまあそのマーケティング的に鉄拳を調べたり鉄拳ゲームのことも鉄拳のことをよく調べて、えー、本当は 3D でヒットを取ろうとしたんだけどうまくいかなかっただからポリゴンのモデルは使ってるけどヒットの取り方は従来の 2D 格闘のヒットのデータの取り方をしていてで逆に我々は。じゃあ 2D 格闘の,あの多段ヒットってあの1個の技ガンガンガンって何個もヒットするようなすごく気持ちいいあ,のあれを再現しようとしてもなかなかやっぱりポリゴンのゲームで再現できなかったりとか、あのー、そうするとノウハウが違うのでそういう部分でまず、えー、2つが1個になってもそれほど相乗効果を得られないっていうのともう1個は逆にブレーキをかけ合っちゃうことになっちゃう。あのーお互いがお互いの気を,気を使ってしまうもしくはお互いがお互いに干渉し,し,しすぎちゃって、えー、その結果自分たちの本来の力を 100% ずつ発揮できるとは限らなくてむしろマイナスの方向になる可能性があるっていうふうに僕と小野さん考えたのでまあ別々なのが絶対いいよねって話になります。And the second part, uh, the answer is that... Uh, why didn't we get together and make one game?、Yeah. Is because the knowledge base that we have on both of our development teams is quite different, whether that's a you know, 3D fighting game or 2D fighting game base.、Uh, one example is、uh, I was told that when Ono san was first developing Street Fighter IV, that he had actually researched、uh, maybe doing the, the hitboxes in 3, 3D as well. But it, it didn't really fit well, so they ended up sticking with 2D、uh, in the more traditional manner. And, and, and the same could be said with us. You know, they have certain moves in. For example, Street Fighter, where I, I think like you h a s the one where you hit multiple yeah, yeah, hits yeah. with one technique and such, and it feels good in the in 2D, 2D environment and hitbox.、Uh, but we can't really accomplish the same thing in a 3D fighting game environment. So that itself was、uh, one, another big, huge reason that we did that. And just getting together doesn't mean that. You know, all of the talent of their team and all the talent of our team will be, you know, one plus one equals two. Yeah.、Uh, so we really didn't feel that that would be a plus. We'd actually, more people involved in one game means、yeah. that you could actually end up hampering their progress because、okay. uh, the different ways of using them into our games and also if we had to have approval processes and stuff. Right. So we really didn't see、uh, the merit in it at that time. しかも小野さんと一緒に仕事したら毎日2人で嫌がらせとかいたずらのやり合いになって多分仕事にならないと思う。<笑> and, you know, working with Ono every day and all the, the tricks and stuff that go on and, and the, the jabs that we give to each other,、uh, maybe every day wouldn't be so fun.、Uh, may I ask you a question about the movie? Is that right? Or... Yes,、yeah, fine. Okay. okay.、Uh, so the two characters, I watched the, the movie on the screening and I thought for the longest time that they were going to kiss. The two lead characters. Lily and Alisa. That Moe loving.、Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, I hope it's not a spoiler for everyone. They did not kiss. I'm wondering if there's a special edition, like an uncut version in the、uh, hybrid DVD, that we could get 
some some action that I think all the fans are hoping for. I would want that. Yeah, the robot Xiaoyu uh, kiss. Even more than that, Xiaoyu and Aisa are. まあ日本の多分燃え的なこうすごい微妙な距離感があって、もうキスするんじゃないかっていう雰囲気があったけどなかなかそれが叶わなかったんです。スペシャルエディションです。実際その夢は叶えてくれたりしないですかね。俺そう意外だったのがそういう風に見えたんだなんかあのだってリチャージのシーンとか多分そんな話だと思うけど、充電のリチャージの充電の。冷蔵庫がどうそうなんだ。俺はちょっとそういう風には見てなかったんで、よくわからなかったんだけど。<笑>うん、そうね。やっぱ CG 映画だから何でもやろうと思ったらできるんだけど。うん。なかなかお金もかかるし<笑>難しいか。まあなんかね、あの今回結構評判は結構いいので、次に繋がったらなんか。そういう要素も<笑>。俺はちょっとでも映画を専門外だからね<笑>。どうやったら受けるかどうかちょっとわからないんだけど、まああのはいえなんかそういう意見もあるというふうに思ってください<笑>。Well, you know, I didn't really notice that in the movie so much. I didn't see it in that light,、uh, but I heard that and it's quite interesting. Um, I don't know. It's the CG, so we, I guess we could create anything. But it is quite expensive, so、yeah. uh, I don't know. Perhaps if there's a, a next movie, then we could have some kind of situation that、uh, would please that type of fan. So、uh, I hear you as one one opinion. Awesome.、Uh, I just want to,、uh, I guess, confirm that Parada-san was there from the very first check-in, the onset check-in. Ichi, 最初からいる。Ichi の時からその会社にはいるけど Ichi の時は俺はえっと PR というかそのイベントやったりとかセールスやったりとかそういう関わりはまあ開発はやり取りはしてたけど。So I was、uh, involved from check-in one, but during the early period it was、uh, sales, a PR and event、uh, planning stuff like that.、Okay. Although I did have a lot of interaction with the development staff. So like I think a lot of fans see him as the、uh, the father of the series,、uh, especially now. Along the same lines, there is、uh, like the creator of Ghibli movies in Japan,、uh, Hayao Miyazaki, and he is getting、uh, quite old, right? And so he's had to sort of relinquish his control to his to other people, but I guess he still wants to maintain and、uh, remain involved in the project.、Um, is there ever a point? Where Harada must think about who will carry on the Tekken line、um, when he's no longer able to do it, or he wants to move on to other things. And I think maybe a lot of people might be scared of there maybe a drop in quality, just like you know when the son, the, the Miyazaki son, makes the movies. Like people are like, oh, I wish the father did it.、Um, is there ever, is there a line of succession there, or is he still a lot of energy to go another hundred years? えっと質問はまあ母さんが鉄拳を作り出した人というイメージがファンの中にはあって、でまあ結構やってきたわけなんだけど、宮崎みたいにこう年を取ってだんだんこう後輩に譲れなきゃいない時って多分あると思うんでね。でもまあ宮崎のまあ企画をすると息子にこうやらせた時にファンの間にはちょっと質が落ちたとかそういう心配もあったりとか。原さんもなんか次の後継者とかそういうの考えてたりしますか？それとも,もこれからずっとまあ現場内で頑張りますっていうのあるのか？なるほど。どういう感じなの？そうね。えっとだからまあ時時々そういう話をしてるんだけどあの鉄拳ワンの時とか特にツーの時とかねなかなかアーケードで対戦人気が出なくて。あの対戦筐体にもしてくれなかったりとかして、あの誰も対戦してくれなかったですよね。アーケードあの家庭用ではそこそこみんな買ってくれたりはしてたんですけど、で対戦ゲームとしてなかなか認められないところがあって、まあ1の時に得たフィードバックとかはまあどんどん2に入れてそれでもまだダメでって、まあ僕それで16年目にしてこうずっとこうやってきたんですけど。やってきてやっぱり10年経ったあたり12、3年経ったあたりだよね。初めて別件で結構格闘ゲームとしていい位置だっていう風にこういう格闘コミュニティ認められたのってだいぶ時間経ってからでだけど実はそれをあの
全部自分自身一人でやってきたわけじゃもちろんなくて、あのー、チームメンバーっていうのはずっと変わってないですよね、十数年。で、基本的なコアメンバーは変わってなくて、そこのメンバーっていうのは、まあ、若いのもいるし、まあ、僕ぐらい年を取ってる人間ももちろんいるんだけども、あのすでに。えー、とベッケンシックスの時からね、えーと、ちょっと僕の役割っていうのは少しずつ変わってきてるので、えーまあ、あの誰かにバトンタッチとかして、突然ゲームが変わるとか、そういうものじゃなくて、やっぱりあのダメだったベッケンの頃からこう、どんどん良くなっていくまでのノウハウとかデータだとか、そういう蓄積は、本当、チームの中全体にあるので。えー、たとえ僕が一人死んでも、あのーね、あとチームの誰かがいなくなっても、急に何かが変わるっていうほど、鉄拳プロジェクトっていうのは、そういうひ弱なチームじゃないんです今回の回答10分ぐらいなんですけど、<笑> so he was just saying,、uh, actually,、uh, back in Tekken 1 and 2,、yeah. it wasn't very popular in that arcade in Japan. Uh, there were actually several places that wouldn't even、uh, put the back to back、uh, machines so that we could do versus play. They would just have it you know, as one player machine. And so it, it really was tough back then. And then going through you know, one and two, and then、uh, after that, up through the different installments, up through six. Uh, we saw a great increase in sales and popularity of this franchise overall. And it was maybe around after making the de- game for 10 years or so that, we re- that I really started to see、uh, how much the series had grown, how much of a, a fan community had begun to support the game. So it, it really took a long time to get to that point. And it, it's not just myself, I didn't do this alone. There's、oh, a, okay. a core team involved in the development process, it's been there pretty much the same time. Uh, there's some people there that are as old as me, but there's also some, quite some young people. So, is he like the Jim Hachi, and there's a Hei Hachi Harada, and a Kazuya Harada, and a. Haha. 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 だからもし俺がいなくなって困るとしたらい,いくつか俺しか知らないことっていうのはもちろんあるっていうのと、まあ、それは教えりゃしまいだしあとはまあ結構キャラクターのアイデアとか確かに意外と俺がバーッて出してるものとか。はい、ミニゲームのアイデアとかもそうだけど、ね、あるからそういうのは多少ちょっと心配ではあるけど大丈夫じゃないかなって。So I mean and also there since everyone kind of came、uh, they, we, we did the game together、yeah. for the, the past、uh, 16 years or so、uh, a lot of that knowledge has stayed with the core team members as well so most of them know it and from six I gradually started to do Uh, different roles as well as development. So there is a little bit of sharing responsibilities and such, but、uh, there's nothing like passing the torch or like, you know,、uh, a period where we stop making the game and hand it off to someone.、Uh, and it's not like he's going to die or anything. So. Okay.、Uh, but even, even so, I mean, there, there are a few minor, small minor things that only I know, but、uh, I could tell the, the current team if I ever had to leave and do something else. So. Not, not so worried, but、mm-hmm. that being said, most, there are quite a few characters and other game elements that、uh, I thought of myself in, in a short period. So、uh, I am a little bit worried, I guess. Okay.、Um, I guess I have a question. I'm not too familiar with the Tekken player scene, but it seems like a lot of、uh, Street Fighter players are sponsored. How is the、um, environment for Tekken players? Is there, are there sponsorships available?、Uh, is that like Mad Cat or、uh, you know, Hori? Or, yeah, EG. Yeah. ケケンのシーンはあんまりわかんないけど、スイッチファイトだとスポンサーが、まあ、結構余裕で、スポンプレイヤーをスポンサーするとか、ケケンにもそういうのあったりするあ,あれね、正確にはね、コールドファイターっていうか、カプコンってスポンサーしないよね。あだ EG とか、マッカツとかそういうの。うんと、ああのだからどっちかというと、正式にじゃなくて、マッカツとか EG とか、いくつか、もうカプコンと関係ないところスポンサーになってるんじゃないああ、いわゆるカプコンのタイトルに対してってことそうそうそう。まあ、プレイヤーに対してとプレイヤーに対してタイトルビーそれをき聞,聞いてるんだ。ああ、なるほどね。正式にじゃなくて。ああ。Why hasn't, perhaps why haven't we seen more Tekken、uh, sponsored players? 
check in のプレイヤーがスポンサーされてないかでも一時期 MLG とかでやってた時はあったりしてたけどね鉄拳プレイヤーもどう,どういうスポンサーのこと言ってるのかなだってカプコンじゃないよねだってソルトファイターだって大悟とかみんなだってマーティタッチのスポンサーがスポンサーになってるじゃん、うんうん、カプコンと関係なしに、うんうん、だそういうのは鉄拳プレイヤーにいないのそういう関係ないあなそういう単にそういう質問、うん、まだえー、っとねあのー、例えば韓国とかだともうすごいそんなのばっかりそんなのばっかりとかもうそういう人がほとんどというかねもうあそこはテレビもやってるしプロリーグっていうのにね大会で上位に入っていくとプロゲーマーになれてね徴兵免除になったりとかっていうのがあるぐらいすごい国なんであそこはもう、えー、国全体で結構そういう。プロ,プロみたいなことをやっていますので鉄拳は結構日本からのプレイヤーとかも期間限定的なスポンサーシップが今まで多かったので、えーまあ、何よりもこの特にこのプロの大会ってこうエボ向けのスポンサースポンサー度が多いと思うんだけどこれもともとやっぱカプコンのイベントってこともあるので、えー、ちょっと我々の方まだこっちはそんなに。やってないやってる例はそんなに見てないかなと思う。MLG コアとかあの辺はちょっとついてた。あの辺はついてた。Well, I guess the the、まあ、ライアンもそうか。The biggest example of that is perhaps Korea. Yeah.、Uh, you know, Ni and Ni and Holman and all those guys.、Mm-hmm. Uh, they have sponsors. There's a TV show that's in its like eighth season, I think. Like a crash. Yeah.、Uh, and they have a pro circuit. They actually have the, the whole framework there that、uh, you can become a pro gamer, and pro gamers are exempt from military service and such. So I think Korea is a place where that's really big. Yeah.、Uh, in Japan, we've had some limited sponsorships for certain events or periods and such. And also, I guess in the US,、uh, I think last year, Core and some of the other players had sponsors as well.、Uh, so I guess that's a bigger thing than the Street Fighter crowd at the moment, and that's something that we've really、uh, done much for t e c h e n Yeah. Uh, up till now. Okay.、Uh, I want to ask a question about the arcade scene and what a lot of things of the, I guess, the gradual disappearance, especially of Japanese arcades and, and arcades worldwide. And why is it that even though there's a tendency, there's this sort of extinction, the path of arcades are on a path of extinction, why Harada is still very、uh, positive and very enthusiastic about releasing such high quality arcade, arcade、uh, machines? Is it not like a dying? Is there no, isn't there no future in it? えーとまあ、アメリカもそうなんだけど、日本でもゲーセンが減ったりとかしていて、このまあ、アーケードが減っていく中で、えーまあ、なんで原田さんがこう高い、まあ、質のいい業務用のゲームを、まあ、作り続けているのか、これからだんだん減っていくんじゃないか、そんな市場はあるのかなと。Uh, concentrate on consoles and PCs. Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? Why is it so loyal to the arcade scene? えーえー、っとなぜというと格闘ゲームって、えー、僕はねアーケードを1回通した方がいいっていうのが前から言ってることなんだけど、えー、っと1回100円でしょ日本なんかは1回100円なんですよ今だったらアメリカで言えば1ドル以上だよね、えー、相場でいくとだからそんなゲームをつまんなかったらねみんな本当200円も300円も払って遊ばないと思うんでね、やめちゃうじゃないですか、それを家庭用の値段以上に払ってでもやってくれるゲームに、であるからこそ、すごいこう、そういうシビアな環境だからこそ、いいゲームが作れるっていうのは、まず一個あると思います。ここまで well, uh... You said that the arcade scene is in decline,、yeah. and that's true for most cases, but there are some regions where、oh. arcades are actually starting to increase.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess you know, another big reason is that、uh, for 
continue to make the games for the arcade is that, uh, and I've always said that I think that we should always release first in the arcade. Uh, and that being that, for example, in Japan it costs 100 yen for one play. That's right. like a dollar a bit now. But uh, so the the consumer pays that each time they want to play. So it's quite a uh, severe market because if the game is interesting, they're going to end up paying more than they paid for perhaps a console yeah, game. Console game yeah. But if the game is not uh, interesting at all, then they'll stop it one time or two, and uh, the game will lose popularity in, in an instant. Right. So that environment is uh, really uh, tough, but uh, very worthwhile testing ground for the game. だからあのすごい生き残りの激しい市場なので、逆に鉄拳がもう生き残ってこの5年間。アーケードにおいてはもうあのまあ家庭でも一,一応シェアでは一番なんだけど、これインカムで今5年間地位を保ってるっていうのはこのクゲームクオリティを保つ一つのすごいバックボーンになっていて、で商売的なところで言ってもね、時々アメリカの人に言われるんだよそのあんまり儲かんないところでやってどうするの？これね、おこんな話したら別にこんな話聞きたくもないだろうけど。業務用で鉄拳って毎回400万本とか500万も売れます。業務用で？ああ、家庭用で。ごめんなさい。家庭用で400万本から500万本売れます。で、業務用はでそこで得られる利益っていうのと、その業務用のマシンを売った利益ってどれぐらい差あると思うかっていうのみんな知らないと思うんですけど、なんとほぼ同じ。なんですね。でもしくはワンプレイごとに僕らはプレイヤーフィーあプレイフィーって言ってそのサーバー維持費とかアップデートのための費用っていうのをもらってるんですけど、それの利益も考えると実は業務用がちょっと上なんじゃないかってぐらい長く利益を生み出しているので、なのでそのおかげで僕らすごいお金をかけて次のタクツみたいなあのこんなすごいビッグなゲームをすごいお金かけて。開発をかけて作れるっていうこう土壌があるんですよね。だからそういう意味では商売的にもあの実はなんでそんなことやってんのっていうものではない。So because the、uh, the arcade environment and market is、uh, such a severe atmosphere of a、uh, hundred yen for each play,、uh, that's really enabled us to keep a high quality、uh, for the Tekken franchise.、Uh, you know, we've even had Uh, the top income earning award for arcades yeah, for five arcade, years、yeah. consecutively, and I think that really shows the level of quality we were able to obtain, obtain because of releasing in such a strict environment.、Uh, and you know, like you were asking, a lot of people often tell us, "Why do you keep、uh, developing for the arcade? Why don't you focus more on console? Because I don't, it doesn't make that much money, right?"、Uh, but if you want to know the truth, you know, the Tekken series, each installment sells roughly. Four to five million copies worldwide、uh, in, in each installment.、Uh, so you can imagine the profit generated by that. But that's roughly about the same as the profit that we make off of selling arcade machines、uh, for each installment. And then, if you include the amount of、uh, money, we, we charge a fee for、uh, usage of the Tekken Net and such to maintain servers and to update the game and such. And so, if you include that. Maybe even the arcade version makes more money than the, the console in the long run because it generates profit for quite a long time. I didn't think about that. で、まあ今のみたいな売り上げの話をするとね、みんなじゃあ商売のことばっかり考えてやってんじゃないかって思うかもしれないけど、みんなちょっと本当にねよく考えてほしいんだよ。鉄拳、ストリートファイターでさえ10年間沈黙してた時期があった、発売できなくて。いろんなゲームアーケードから消えて家庭用からもなくなったのみんな覚えてるよね。そう90年代すごいいろんな格闘ゲームあったのみんななくなったでしょ。我々だけなんだよコンスタントにアーケード家庭アーケード家庭ってこの15年もきっちりちゃんと続けてこれたのは本当しかもずっとしかも伸ばしてるっていうのはねあの鉄拳が結構それは本当うまくやってきたうちキャリバーでさえうまくいかなかったんですよ。えそれをできてる理由の一つがやっぱりアーケードなんだよね。で。逆に言うとこれを頑張れなかったら同じように多分なくなってた可能性もあるし、あのやっぱりそうやってきっちりきっちりやっぱりあのお客さんも喜んでもらって我々もちゃんと次の開発費をもらってっていうのが続かない限りこのジャンルっていうのは衰退しちゃうからそういう意味ですごく重要なことなんだよ。
So, uh, and you know what this leads to is because the it's not about just mere profit because, uh, but taking the funds that we've gained from the arcade version and such is able to make us uh, and able to allow us to make a very high quality game and to uh, to allow us to have the proper funds to create that and develop it. And if you look at the other titles that were originally in arcades, such as Street Fighter and some other uh, popular fighters that are uh, have made a comeback now, yeah. but they were absent for about 10 years or so. And we've, yes, they were. Uh, in that time, we've continually been updating the series and it even grown the series as far as uh, fan base and profit and uh, copies sold worldwide. Uh, so, and I think that releasing the arcade for each installment is really uh, a key factor to that success. Yeah. Great. Uh, next is he, question. Is he uh, recording? Oh yeah, we're recording. We're recording. Let's give me some water. Uh, next question is about the Japan earthquake that happened earlier this year. Since I know. Uh, I guess what does Hamada think? Not only about Tekken. I mean Tekken aside, just all video games. What does does video game playing and the arcades and everything does it have a social role in the rebuilding process of Japan? Because my understanding is that. Uh, video game playing has a very low social value in Japan and maybe in Asia where the parents want you to go and study, you know, and become doctors and lawyers and engineers. But what what role does Harada see his uh, I guess tech and, and, and video gaming being in the rebuilding process, the recovery process? なんだろう。その震災え、ね、あるのかなと思うね。震災の時にみんなツイッター使ったり、Facebook使ったりと同じで、そういう自分たちのゲームのコミュニティでそういう情報のやり取りみたいなのあったと思いますけど、まあ、その震災後何か変わったかっ
構そういう日本のこう震災の後のこうそのそ日本人を支えるような活動とかしてるのかあ、あのー、多分そういう意味でいいよだったらどっちかというと E3 で日本人のクリエイターは小野さんと原さんだけでみんな結構誇りに思ってる感じで弱ってこう打撃食らったけど、まあ、それ以上にこう頑張って盛り返そうとかそういう気持ちはあるなと、うん、あのそうですねえっ、ー、と石鹸というかまあ僕の周囲とか僕の例でいくと。えーとまあ、何よりもこういうああいう震災が起きたときに、まあ、例えば、ね、台湾が世界で一番こうなんか支援金とか、ね、現金を送ってきてくれたりだとか、あのー、いろんな国の,その日本への支援というのがすごくこう。ああいう目に,目に見える形で見えたことってあんまり今まで日本人にはなかったのでそれ,それとかあとやっぱりファンですよね鉄拳であの日本にもすごいファンの方たくさんいらっしゃるんですけどもう数で言えばそれ以上に、ね、あのヨーロッパアメリカで地元アジアにすごいいっぱいいてそういう人たちから逆に僕らはその頑張ってくれとかあと。鉄拳とにかく作り続けてほしいから俺はもっと募金するよとかそういうことがどっちかというと周囲ですごい起きて日本人のクリエーターの多くはこんな震災が起きたらゲーム作ってる場合じゃないなとかゲームって本当に必要とされてないなって実は落ち込んでたところはあったんだけど逆に周りのゲームファンから、ね、日本もそうだし世界のみならず世界の人からも。そういうふうに応援されたことで逆に僕らは頑張れるっていう,う力をもらった方かなっていうのは。Well, you know, after the earthquake,、um, a lot of countries really showed support.、Uh, I think, for example, Taiwan being one of the, the, the biggest contributors to、uh, relief aid and such as Japan. And up until then, there's never really been an instance where、uh, the Japanese public has seen in a, a formula like that where.、Yeah. Like a, that kind of shape where other countries have really had an outpouring of aid or support. So that was something that was really new. And、uh, at the time, a lot of the Japanese game developers were kind of almost depressed because after seeing such a, a horrible event,、yeah. uh, many felt you know, maybe it's not the time to be making something like a game. Yeah, right. And、uh, so everyone was really depressed at that point. But that really, that outpouring from other countries, and not just. Uh, on a large global scale like that, but、uh, on a you know, more personal level, of the fans of our games from around the world, because we have a lot of fans in Japan, but a lot, lot more、uh, abroad. And just the outpouring of support about, you know, they hope that we're doing okay,、yeah. and that they want us to continue making the games, and they look forward to seeing the next tech game. All of that really just gave、uh, a lot of power to us. Awesome.、Um, one last question. So, I know that Tekken Tag has team specific moves. Like, if you select a certain team, you can do like a special move. If、uh, Ono and Harada were in the game as a team together, what would be their signature <laughs> move that you can only activate you o k n when w you pick those specific two characters together? Tekken no, Tabun, Tabunaga, that's the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the character that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the character that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the character that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the character that I'm going to do. If we were in the game as a, a team,、yeah. we would、uh, kind of get on either side of the opponent and double team them at the same time, hit them. But you know, the opponent would duck and we'd hit each other as a cross counter and both get knocked out simultaneously. Awesome.、Um, I think a lot of、uh, fans are interested in following the development of the game. What sort of social media,、uh, such as Facebook or Twitter, can, we, can the fans、uh, sign up for to, to keep track of Rada and his? 
言ってたわえっ、ー、と開発とかすごい興味深くてみんなファンもみんな、えーまあ、待っている感じなんだけどソーシャルメディアでどういうところで鉄拳の情報を得られるかとフェイスブックとかそういうところで、うん、まあまあ原さんがついてああそうだからフェイスブックのページあのー、まあ時代によって変わると思うんですけど今はたまたまやっぱりフェイスブックはもうなんと大体もう150万人弱いますで150万人弱えー、もうメンバーがいるんで鉄拳のフェイスブックとあと僕のツイッター、はい、その主にこの2つで今、鉄拳の方は情報、大体最新情報を得られるようになっているので、ぜひそこを見てみてください。150万人のところじゃないよね、フェイスブックって。フェイスブックあうちのページだね。そうそう,そう、うちのフェイスブックは、鉄拳の。So, you know, I think it changes at the times, but、yeah. uh, we have a Facebook page, it's got、cool. 1.5 million users. People are going that, like it.、Uh, so, we, we update that as well as our. A community manager for the rich. Yeah.、Uh, not only that, but Har- Harada's on Twitter account. Oh.、Uh, Tekken Harada. Harada Tekken.、Uh, Harada underscore Tekken. And that's、uh, Harada, H A R A D A, underbar Tekken, T E K K E N. Awesome. The, and then, well, the, 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 僕らみたいにオフィシャルのそういうところからだけじゃなくて、えー、SD 鉄拳っていうサイトだったり鉄拳財閥っていうサイトだったり、あのー、結構有名なサイトは結構アメリカをとかヨーロッパもいっぱいこうあるんですよ各リージョンのとこなんでそういうところ行っても僕らがあえて情報先にこう渡してたり流してあげたりもしてるんでそういうとこからも情報を得れます。So, in addition to some of those official outlets, we also have the, the huge fan sites like、uh, Tekken Zaibatsu or、yeah. SD Tekken, where they're really quick on picking up on the latest info as well. So,、uh, if you check out those, I'm sure that you'll catch up on what we're, we've been announcing at that point. Okay, great. I guess、uh, we're finished right now, but as a fan service, I think a lot of people want to know why Harada always wears the sunglasses.、Uh, Is it because, I have a theory. He has that Kazuya, that, that red eye. The devil eye? Yeah. Does he, is that devil gene no, in Harada? No, no, no. 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 No, no, なんとかサングラスした方がみんなそうそうそれそれそれって言うようになって記念撮影の時もサングラスかけてっていう人が多いからあじゃあそうしとこうかって感じで俺個人は普段はしないよ<笑> Well you know it's funny because I didn't used to wear sunglasses so much but when we did the crossover stuff and events with Ono-san、uh, it was weird everyone on the internet mentioned how Ono was kind of like the, the light side and we were the dark side.、Yeah. Uh, and even then, after that, people would ask me to put on my sunglasses for pictures and stuff. So I thought, okay, well, I might as well do it all the time now. Then. There you go. He doesn't wear the sunglasses inside the shower. <laughs> We all know that now. All right, I want to thank you guys so much, so much for your time、uh, and doing the interview.、Uh, that's all we have for now. This is Cross Counter Asia. Bye bye, guys. So, Mike, you know, I've seen you play a lot for years now.、Mm-hmm. And every time I see you do well, it's on a Mad Cat's TE stick. It's a good observation, Gutex. Let me show you why. The Mad Cat's TE stick is interesting because of a few certain features. Like what, Mike? Well, for one, Gutex, it has a jab, a medium punch, also known as strong, a fierce punch. Which makes it easier for me to do hand slaps. That sounds useful. You know, I've also heard good things about short forward and roundhouse as well. Let me tell you also a little bit more about this stick. It has a short, <laughs> it has a forward, and it has a roundhouse. And but also, what do you do with those? Because. Well, with these, I can choose my attacks carefully. Also, if you notice, this stick has two extra buttons on the side. What would you use them for, Mike? It has two extra buttons on the side. <laughs> But more importantly, what you'll notice about the Mad Cat's TE stick that separates it from the other sticks is it has a stick right here. You can move in any direction you'd like at any time. Now and later. That is correct. So I feel every home in America should have themselves a Mad Cat's TE stick. 
because Mad Cat's TE sticks are the way to go. You heard it here. Mad Cat's TE sticks. At this URL, with that coupon code, 